Hi, John here. In this video, we're going to look at how dams work. We'll look at all of the main components of a dam and the advantages and disadvantages associated with this type of hydropower plant. Humans have been harnessing the power of water for thousands of years. The potential energy of water has been used to drive mills, rotate pumps, and for numerous other applications. However, converting the potential energy of water to electrical energy is a relatively new concept. To generate electricity using a hydro dam, you need two things, an abundance of water and an elevation difference between the outlet and inlet sides of the dam. This difference in elevation is referred to as the head. The headwater is located upstream of the dam and the tailwater downstream. The dam separates the headwater and tailwater. Let's now have a look at how we generate electricity using a hydro dam. Water enters the penstocks through the main inlets. The water then travels down through the penstocks until reaching the hydroelectric turbines located within the powerhouse. As the water passes over each turbine runner, the runners rotate and we obtain mechanical energy. The mechanical energy from the turbine runners is passed to electrical generators, which are connected on common shafts. We have now converted the water's potential energy into electrical energy and can distribute this through a transformer and a high voltage national grid. To end the process, the water flows from the powerhouse through draft tubes until reaching the tailwater. The entire process is continuous, which leads to a constant and reliable form of power generation. Advantages Hydroelectric dams offer a constant and reliable form of power generation, providing enough water is present. They represent a renewable form of energy and produce no waste products. They're also very efficient and cheap to operate. Not only that, but hydro dams have a very long service life. Some hydro plants have been in operation for over a hundred years. Disadvantages Hydroelectric dams can disrupt local habitats considerably due to the large changes needed to create the conditions required by the dam. These adverse effects are felt by both plants and animals alike. This is by far the largest disadvantage associated with hydro dams. They're also very expensive to construct and have very high initial costs compared to other types of power plant. Unfortunately, the risk of failure associated with hydro dams is not always small and the consequences can be catastrophic. Catastrophic failure of hydro dams can often lead to immediate and large amounts of flooding to much of the area downstream of the dam. Regardless of the advantages and disadvantages associated with dams, these enormous man-made structures are likely to remain part of our scenery for decades to come. If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also like or share the video, it really helps us out and allows us to produce more and more content. And if you really want to learn more about hydro dams, hydroelectricity and power stations in general, then check out some of the links in the video description area. And if you click on those links, it'll take you to our website where you can see more high quality engineering tutorials. Thanks very much for your time.